We are going to have a car soon. The lady who works in airport. <coughs> you also work in airport? Are you not working in airport? I'm working at the airport. There's a car that is coming. Amen. Oh, you know I mean? Amen. God wants to give you a car, but I'm also seeing marriage. It's very close. Amen. Oh, you know I mean? Amen. In Jesus' name. Huh? Hey, whoever I say in Jesus' name, say. Hey. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So what are you doing here? Huh? You are doing what? Huh? Kill. You are here to kill. I want to kill her. You want to kill her? Yes. Who are you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Who are you? Why do you want to know? No? Huh? Why do you want to know? Why do I want to know? Let me pray for you. Also you. Where is your husband? At work. Huh? At work. Mama, I also want to pray for you. Because your people you have got the same case. Are you me? We Amen. Same, we've got the same case. Amen. You, I want to pray for you. Amen. So that God can move you from where you are staying. Amen. Because you have been praying for that. Amen. I'm seeing a very, this is a very bad condition. <laughs> Give glory to God. That's not me. This daddy who taught me these things. Amen. Brother, do what God is telling you. You hear yes. me? Uh, do what God is telling you. Move. Yes. Because, because God wanted to move from He has been telling you. Move. Move from this place. After all this happened to you. Yes. You understand? Because these people want to kill you. Remember oppression. Yeah? Yes, yes. You did oppression. Yes. Move from that place. God will show you. God will show you where you are going. I'm just telling you because if you stay there, these people will kill you, these people. Because when you pray there, and then also the issue of this brother that is close to you in Blood River. Okay. Blood River. You know yes. Blood River? Yes. You've got a friend there. Yes. You are doing ministry together. Yes. Don't rely on him too much. Okay. It's, it's really affecting your ministry. You understand, my brother? I'm just guiding you by seeing you here. God is showing me many things here that you have never told anybody. And also go to Pumananga. Yes, that's where I'm going. Huh? Yes, that's where I'm going. That's where God wants to send you there. Go there. Yes. When you, when you are there, you'll be starting afresh because here, there's no ministry here. You understand? It's you, it's the family. You understand? And you pray for your younger brother so that he must live right. Amen. This younger brother, the devil is taking away from you. You understand, my brother? Amen. I'm sure you know the younger brother I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Eh? Yes, I do. So, I'm just guiding you. God loves you. Amen. Can you just come here? This is diabetes. Come, sir. This diabetes has already affected you in marriage now. The affection is gone. So we need to bring back that affection. Amen. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's not true. It's true. Huh? It's true. So this marriage here, you are like a brother and a sister now. Mm. Huh? Yes. yes. Stay together for a long time, but this is a problem now. Yes. Yes. I prayed for you there. I go say, I must also pray for this problem.
the brother that I was speaking with, I don't want him to miss heaven by disobeying with these wrong friends and make conference together. My wife is in heaven now. My wife, my brother. Your wife is in heaven. You understand? Your wife is in heaven now. As we speak. So if your wife is in heaven, Satan will try to kill you. Try to kill you so that you worry, 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 kill you. So your wife is here. Yourself, you are here. Very soon you will join your wife. So God gave you this grace and he wanted to marry and carry on. You understand? Just marry, carry on. Because I must tell you that. It's not good to tell you this message. Your wife is in heaven. And you go there, marry. To make it. You really make it. You? Why am I putting your dish? Let's allow Pastor to finish the. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister, I want to pray for you. Are you hearing me? Yes. I want to pray for you, but there's a demon that visits you. Okay. Pastor can continue, then finish. There's a demon that visits you. Okay. Another pastor can finish here. Pastor, can, you can finish there. You finish here. Uh, there's a demon that visits you, Mama. Okay. Are you hearing me? Amen. This demon is feeding you. Uh, mm -hmm. This demon is feeding you, and I'm seeing an attack here on the stomach. Okay. Uh, you hear me? Yes. You are hearing cramps here. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, I do. And these cramps have affected your menstruation. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm seeing your blood is like it's on and off. Yes. Sometimes it comes with wrong days. Yes. Uh, it, take, it takes months to come back. It takes months to come back. Yes. In Jesus' name. Get another pastor. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You see what God is doing. You see, I'm relaxed. Huh? God must give you the same grace. Are you hearing me? Huh? In fact, let me close. Let me give it to me. After a year, she must go to toilet. That blood will, will come out now, now. Ay! Ay! Yeah! 